The Beach Boys Christmas album is a fascinating blend of surf rock and traditional holiday themes. Released in November of 1964, at the peak of their popularity, this album features a mix of original compositions and classic Christmas standards. And in the six decades that have followed, many of their originals have become standards and holiday staples on their own. Hi, I'm Andy Fenstermaker, host of Poetic Wax, a weekly music history series where I dig into the record collection I started back in the 1990s. As a kid in the 1980s, I loved this album. We had this living room which seemed to have this off-limits adult area vibe. It was immaculately clean, very, very tidy, and in the corner, well, that's where my parents had their record player. Each December, I'd sneak in and pull out the Beach Boys Christmas album, putting it on the turntable and plugging in the headphones. These days, that album is actually in my collection, but the tradition occurs 44 years later. Today, we look at the history of this landmark album 60 years after its release. By 1964, the Beach Boys had become one of America's biggest bands, known for their iconic surf rock sound. However, with the Beatles leading the British invasion, competition was heating up. The Beatles versus the Rolling Stones may be the most well-known rivalry in the history of pop music, but it's a rivalry that always seemed a little superficial, more based on image and stylistic preferences than anything else. It's easy to see why those two extremely popular British bands were pitted against each other, but when it came to innovations in songwriting, arrangements, and production of pop music in the 1960s, the Beatles' greatest rivals were the Beach Boys. The rivalry was a friendly one, but one thing the Beatles wouldn't do for more than half a decade is give us a more official holiday release. Sure, they would send out musical messages on flexi-disc to members in their official fan club in the UK and the United States each Christmas, but it wasn't until 1970 that they were compiled into a compilation titled From Me to You in the UK and the Beatles' Christmas album in the US. Record labels often pushed artists to release Christmas albums to tap into seasonal sales. The Beach Boys were no exception. Capitol Records saw an opportunity to capitalize on the group's success and asked for a holiday-themed record. Mike Love remembers that it was Christmas, above other holidays, that provided the earliest inspiration for him to sing with his cousins, Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson. Despite being seen as a commercial venture, the album allowed the band to showcase their versatility, balancing their surf rock sound with lush orchestral arrangements. Brian Wilson, the band's principal songwriter and producer, was already pushing the boundaries of pop music by 1964. For the Beach Boys Christmas album released that year, he took a more classical approach to the arrangements, especially on the album's second side, which was filled with traditional Christmas standards. Tracks like We Three Kings of Orient Are and Auld Lang Syne demonstrate Wilson's ability to create something that could stand alongside more traditional Christmas music. The first side of the album consists of original Beach Boys Christmas songs, including the hit single Little Saint Nick. Interesting, it was that song, Little St. Nick, which was originally recorded during the sessions for Shut Down Volume 2, and its arrangement bears significant similarities to the hit Little Deuce Coop. Released in December of 1963 as a standalone Christmas single, it was quite the success, reaching number three on the Billboard Christmas chart. Riding on the crest of the nation's best-selling album, here is America's number one group, The Beach Boys! Well, way up north where the air gets cold, there's a tale about Christmas that you've all been told. Little St. Nick is notable for merging the band's surf rock style with holiday cheer, setting the tone for the rest of the album. Their surf style, along with the majority of the tracks on the Beach Boys Christmas album, presents a unique reflection of a Californian Christmas. Other original songs, like The Man with All the Toys and Santa's Beard, further present the listener with this playful, distinctly Californian take on Christmas, blending sun-drenched harmonies with yuletide themes. Despite these light-hearted themes, the underlying sophistication of the arrangements hinted at Brian Wilson's evolving songwriting abilities. 
Wilson worked with a 41-piece orchestra on some tracks, a precursor to his later symphonic experimentation on Pet Sounds less than two years later in 1966. When the Beach Boys Christmas album was released in 1964, it received mixed reviews. Critics praised the original arrangements on the traditional songs, but were a bit divided on the band's original contributions. Despite this, the album performed pretty well commercially, peaking at number six on the Billboard charts during the holiday season. Over the years, the album has gained a reputation as a holiday classic, but at the time, it didn't make the same cultural impact as some of their other albums like Surfer Girl or All Summer Long, which honestly is not really a surprise. Still, some found validity in the work early on. One of the more obscure moments in the Beach Boys' Christmas legacy is their attempt to record a second holiday album in 1977, known as Merry Christmas from the Beach Boys. The project was scrapped when their label, Reprise Records, didn't feel it lived up to expectations. Some of the tracks from these sessions, such as Winter Symphony and Christmas Time is Here Again, have surfaced on compilations like Ultimate Christmas 1998, offering a glimpse into what could have been a very different kind of Beach Boys holiday album, blending their 1970s sound with holiday themes. The album's failure to materialize added to the band's already tumultuous period in the mid-1970s, marked by internal conflicts and creative struggles. The Beach Boys' Christmas album experienced a resurgence in popularity thanks to a 1998 reissue as part of Ultimate Christmas. This compilation included the original 1964 album, along with unreleased tracks from the 1977 sessions. The reissue has helped solidify the album's place in holiday music history, and it continues to be a seasonal favorite. During the recording of the 1964 Christmas album, Brian Wilson was in the early stages of his mental health struggles. Just a month after its release, Wilson famously suffered a nervous breakdown while on tour. The emotional turmoil of this period is rarely discussed in context with this album, but adds a layer of poignancy to its release. Though the album is festive and upbeat, Wilson's personal life was far from serene at the time, foreshadowing the more introspective work he would later produce. These mental health struggles have included, since 1965, experiencing auditory hallucinations that present in the form of disembodied voices. In 1990, he attributed LSD to him developing a bit of a Jesus Christ complex in the mid-1960s, and as his condition worsened, he kind of developed these paranoid delusions, believing that some of these auditory hallucinations were actually Satan coming in, quote, the form of other people that were competing with me and had ideas of killing me. By 1968, things had deteriorated to the point where he was hospitalized for severe anxiety disorder. Over the years, songs from the Beach Boys Christmas album have been featured in countless holiday specials, commercials, and films, keeping them alive for new audiences. The album's combination of classic Christmas standards and original tracks has allowed it to maintain relevance even as musical tastes have shifted over time. And originals have become standards for new generations in their own right. Sometimes the Beach Boys Christmas album is not cited alongside classic holiday albums like Bing Crosby's White Christmas. It has a quiet influence on other artists who attempted to blend contemporary pop styles with traditional Christmas music. Its unique fusion of orchestral arrangements with rock instrumentation can be seen as a precursor to later holiday albums that tried to bring modern genres into the Christmas canon. The Beach Boys Christmas album is more than just a seasonal staple. It's a snapshot of the band at a critical time with layers of history behind its creation and legacy. From a friendly rivalry with the Beatles, from across the pond, to the immediacy of Brian Wilson's mental health struggles, this album has a historic depth that goes far beyond the obvious. This is why I love exploring history of albums in my collection. You just 
don't know until you start digging. And speaking of, in the next video, I dig into a very different song from a very different band in a very different country who was highly influenced by the Beach Boys. It's the surprising story of how they inspired Autobahn by Kraftwerk.